Uh, ever since I saw the uh, Kurosawa's uh, Red Beard, uh, I haven't seen that film for a long, long time, and I, you know, forgotten like eighty percent of the contents. So I think it's worthwhile to rewatch some of the film that you've seen a long time ago, and uh, that's where the DVD collection comes to play. Uh, I would say, uh, you know, the hobby to collect all these things, like books and uh, CDs, DVDs, also, gosh, you know, it's, for a long, long time I thought, well, the music, the CD, for example, is worthwhile because you can re-listen uh, the same music, like a classical music, for example, you listened so many times. Uh, but uh, movies, you don't watch that often. Movies, you watch just once and you see it and you have uh, the spoilers, uh, everything, and so you don't want to watch that again. But then again, you kind of forget what's the content of the movie, especially the good movie. Uh, I think it's worthwhile to rewatch it because when you watch it when you're younger, you miss something that you didn't catch when when you get older. You get more like a you know you become uh, more experienced or uh, more uh, smarter you know, maybe, and so your point of view is a little bit different from uh, when you are young. So I think it's worth it. I think it's uh, worth it to collect the one you like. Uh, in the movies. So I thought about, well, then what I like to collect? I have already lots, lots of DVDs and, uh, uh, you know, Hayao Miyazaki's film, uh, anime. Uh, I have most of it because I thought it was very, very uh, nice, uh, you know, beautiful films. And uh, you can watch it when you get older, even though it's anime. You know, and uh, I have uh, some Kurosawa's collection and some uh, uh, Yasujiro Ozu's collection, and uh, oh, the other one I like to collect is more or less like a classic films uh, that uh, I used to enjoy. I used to, uh, oh, I don't know, the thought maybe that's the best one. So those things I like to have it when you know when I get much much older than now, and uh, if the weather is like this, very very cold outside, and uh, you have a luxury of staying home and watch the film, that's the nicest thing. And uh, today uh, I understand that um, you know all the Netflix and. Uh, so forth, uh, you know, streaming services is, is good enough. But when I go to Netflix, for example, I get so bothered by the, those films that I don't care about, especially the new films that I don't feel like I, 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 I like to watch. And I always look for the classical film that uh, I really liked before or oh, I missed when I was younger. I like to watch that. And those things are rare uh, in the streaming service. Uh, even uh, Canopy, for example. Canopy is a library service of streaming, and it's free. Uh, however, Canopy has a lot sorts of nice classical uh, films, but most of them I, I already watched, and uh, so yeah, not necessarily I like to rewatch those films again. Although I feel like, uh, uh, you know, like Kurosawa's uh, Red Beard, uh, you know, I like to watch. So those things, you know, Canopy is still the very, very valuable thing. But a uh, new film in the Canopy, uh, they don't have any good films there uh, much. Uh, even though I think they try to get a better film than uh, regular uh, junk films. 
so anyway so I really feel like I should get Kurosawa's Ozu's film uh, as much as possible and also Alfred Hitchcock films I like those films uh, even though that's a, a murder and suspense but it's not as uh, scary or it's not as um, it's a scary is, is good but it's uh, it's more uh, it's not gory or anything. It's not the brush. It's not like a violent, you know. So I like those. So Hitchcock's film and uh, one other uh, director, uh, Billy Wilder film. Billy Wilder films I uh, uh, watched over the years, like some like in Hot, Apartment, uh, Starlux 17, and uh, Sunset Boulevard, for example. And all this I love so much and uh, wow, well, you know, I like to have a collection of the Billy Wilder films because he's, he's genius. He, his film is great. And so uh, I uh, ordered some uh, for my Christmas present this year, some uh, Hitchcock film series and uh, uh, Billy Wilder's uh, film collection. But those film collections are still very expensive. And of course, I like to get the uh, Kurosawa's film collection. And uh, some of them are kind of expensive. And you know, I don't, I don't, you know, even though they have like a, you know, five, C, uh, five DVDs in the, in the set. And, uh, you know, I don't want to pay like a $50 or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, those has to be, should be cheaper, I would say. Uh, just like uh, uh, CD. CD become a little bit uh, cheap these days and uh, uh, even though all those uh, uh, 10 CD set uh, very cheap. So I like that. So yeah, I think uh, movies even though I shy away from re-watching it but uh, uh, you know one of the things that I didn't realize that uh, when you get older, uh, probably you forget more and more uh, what the content is, and uh, or you didn't pay attention when you saw it when you're younger, and you kind of missed some of the points. And so it's worthwhile to rewatch it. So yeah, I think uh, I become like a movie watching mode because the weather outside. It's so cold now. And I cannot go walk or anything outside, uh, so I think I better stay and watch the movie. So I recommend you guys, if you love movies, I think it's worthwhile to, to watch it when you don't have anything else to do, uh, like wind, cold winter uh, nights or something. I think it's it's a very good. And uh, I, I really suggest that uh, you kind of eyes on the old classic film which got the award uh, which got uh, a very critical uh, you know reviews uh, very good reviews and uh, those films even though it's a black and white black and white and cinematography is very very interesting to see and they're beautiful so uh, I really recommend uh, especially the you know great directors like cross hours also Billy Wilder, I told you, and who else? Uh, uh, James Ivory films, and... Uh